hey guys welcome back now in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can make uh, anything you want in blender react to music so finally we're gonna make this thing right here okay so it's pretty cool and it it's really easy and simple all it took was a couple of modifiers and some graph knowledge you know which I'm gonna give you if you don't know anything about graphs so let's get into it so I'm gonna just close this and open a new file okay yes okay now I'm gonna delete this default cube we don't need this and also this light we don't need it either and I'm gonna create a circle okay and now I want a fairly good amount of topology on the circle so I'm gonna s choose 60 vertices on this and uh, then I'm gonna go into edit mode and extrude it out and hit escape and then scale up just a bit so that we want to introduce uh, 3d topology in this and select all and extrude it downwards just a bit and there you go this will be your you know thingy equalizer thingy now I'm gonna go to the modifier and choose displace modifier choose new displace meant texture and go into texture settings choose clouds I like clouds everybody loves clouds you know anyone who uses blender loves clouds okay now I'm gonna increase si the size just a bit so it's not very uh, you know what I'm gonna leave like that okay and now in the strength you know this is the thing that will be controlling with the music so I'm gonna just leave it as that but I'm gonna set the texture coordinates to object and I'm gonna create a new object empty okay so this will be the thing that drives our texture space if you you get that now okay now I'm going to choose that object to be the empty and it changed a bit but that's okay because you see now the texture space of in this uh, of this texture is controlled by this object so if I move this you can see that it changes a, a lot you know Be that's because it is stationary and the texture space only moves with it so if you move it you can see the texture changes as well now what we're gonna do is uh, add some modifiers to it okay so as to make it look cool so for that I'm gonna first add uh, subdivision surface I'm gonna put it right above the displacement modifier and then I'm gonna add a triangle oh sorry yeah triangulate you know triangulate modifier it will just basically turn the quads into tri uh, triads you know whatever it will make triangles of the squares that it's made up with now I'm gonna choose wireframe oh look at that now that that's what makes it look cool but we don't want this you know spiky thing is coming out of it so f to do that turn off even thickness and you'll be good Just look at that um what does it look without the subdivision maybe okay we're not doing subdivision <laughs> sorry okay so if you do this it will move if you do this will move uh, but we want it to be controlled by the music you know so for that go to the graph editor and first thing first you should know that you can control any setting in blender that can be animated with graphs and hence it can be controlled by music or any sound that you want so for that I'm gonna just add a keyframe on the strength setting of this displacement modifier it will create a graph 
a straight graph because we only have one keyframe and that will be a constant okay and that constant is one obviously and now just go to the key and uh, press bake sound to curves this is the thing where the magic happens you can choose any sound you want I had it one right here Simple. okay I did not make the sound I do not take credit for it it was mm, you know uh, from YouTube sound library obviously <laughs> so now if you take a look at it it's wow look at that right now we can hear the music because it's just baked it into the F curves but you can do what you can do is go to the video editing tab and select add sound and add the same sound that you added and then when you play you can listen to the sound but I don't need that we don't I don't need that you know you can do it if you want but I don't so I'm gonna delete this now when it now it's done but okay but you know I don't want the same type of you know pattern to repeat just it just amplifies the effect but the effect is same as you can see so I don't want that you can be you can be happy with it but I, I'm not so what I'm gonna do is if you see that if you scale it up or down it changes the uh, texture on it so we can do that you know that works that that's good that changes the texture and also there will be some you know this effect going on so that's good so what you can do is uh, add a scaling uh, a scaling texture uh, sorry keyframe and then it will add these scale graphs okay so you can you can do the same here just hit the x scale and press key and press bake sound to curves and then select the same one that you did now if you can see it's only <laughs> it's only moving into the x axis and very very into that so you know you can do that but if we want something good we can also do that to the y curve and as that I'm going to do that so now it go looks really good you know it, uh, I, because it sc scales up and down it changes the texture and you know it looks really good so I also wanted to change on the z axis so I'm gonna do just that and press key and make sound to curves and uh, just that just the sound looks good guys right so so yeah just tweak some more settings if you want you know you can even do that on the side on the size let's do that you know I, have, I haven't done it oh uh, where okay where is um i don't know yes let's see how it reacts to it oh yeah lo it looks good guys as as much as it as it scales up you know where the beat is higher high frequency or high amplitude i don't know what that is i'm not a sound expert so when it goes on the higher amplitude it scales its value up as you can see it's 0.94 and as you go down it also turns the size down so that it becomes sharper as to fit its size so here it is 0.2 which is really good so I, I'm pretty happy with it you know and you you can also finally close the graph editor and uh, into the materials tab add a material material sorry add a material and set it to emission and just We'll see how that looks. Check check bloom. This is really important. This is this is everything that we work for. <laughs> and
and uh, oh, where it is yeah I'm gonna s set this background to black completely black and uh, I'm gonna just nice you can also set it to a bluish hue if you want okay so that was it. that was it guys thank you very much for watching if you like the video please sub like subscribe I will be continuously posting this kind of stuff you know whatever looks cool I'll make it so thank you for watching and goodbye